Hey, what's up everyone? Paul from Grand House Fun House. And a year ago, I posted my first Varea Saraband Collection Overview video. And let me tell you, it swept the nation. That's right. Many of you joined in with their own collection overview and I'll post links to those videos in the description below. In that video, I also mentioned that I had started a Facebook group to gather all the Varea Saraband vinyl soundtrack lovers out there. And as of today, we are 360 plus members strong, so come join us if you haven't already done so. All right, now that this is out of the way, I'm giving you what you all crave, a collection overview update for the year of our Lord 2022. That's right, all the Varese Saraban vinyls I've purchased since April of last year. Like last time, I'm going to split this into categories, uh, favorite releases bought in the last year, the newer re-releases, the blind buys, the random, I don't know in which category I should put them, purchases, um, Jackal Records, which is a Canadian distribution of Verez Saraband releases, and finally, the European releases. So uh, buck it up, buttercup, and let's giddy up with this collection overview update. All right, so I'm going to start right away with my favorite releases bought in the last year. I got four of them. I am quite happy to have these in the Verez Saraband collection. First one being... Invasion USA with Mr. Chuck Norris, classic canon film right here. Uh, I mean, look at this man, uh, two-fisting with his uh, machine guns in hand. This movie and Death Wish 3 with uh, Charles Bronson. These are the two classic canon films. If you want to intro someone into the canon film world, you should go with these. And uh, the music is composed by Ch J. Chataway right here. Is uh, as 80s as it gets with uh, this uh, soundtrack right here, and uh, yes, I am very, very happy to be having this in the collection. Of all the 80s or soundtrack Varese Urban released, uh, I would have to say this one is in the top five. Any self respecting uh, collector of soundtrack vinyls should have this in their collection, and it is for Creep Show. Anthology movie uh, written, of course, by Stephen King, directed by George A. Romero. The music is by John Harrison. And uh, I'm very happy to have this in the collection. We got, uh, got, got it for a really, really good deal. And uh, yeah, creep show. This is a recent purchase, and this is for Dress to Kill. Brian De Palma's own version of a Giallo movie starring Michael Caine, Angie Dickinson, Nancy Allen. The music is by Pino Donaggio. And uh, I've listened to it a couple times now and uh, I'm very surprised how good this uh, score is. I totally forgot as I was watching the movie, maybe it didn't pop out as much, but uh, on, his, on his own listen, I feel like uh, this is a really good score. And one might say underrated. So uh, there you go, Dress to Kill. And the last uh, title from my favorite releases bought in the last year, and I actually got this last week. So it's a fresh get, and it is for Mutant right here. Music composed by Richard Benn, brother of Charles, who did, was not behind this movie. And it stars uh, Crazy Wild Man Wings Hauser right here and directed by John Bud Cardos. Um, the movie is fucking terrible. <laughs> that's that's one. But the score for this, the score is un is undeserving of the movie. Or I would say the movie is undeserving of the score. It is really good, bombastic. And uh, I'm just very happy to have gotten this. And this one came with uh, a poster which is the first time a Varese Saraband I've bought came with a poster. If you could uh, see it right here, there you go. I think, uh, I know Robocop comes with a poster. I'm sure a couple more titles comes with one, but uh, yeah, I was like surprised to, to get this as a, an extra. But uh, yeah, Mutant is my last purchase for this. And uh, up next will be the uh, newer re-releases. All right, so uh, newer re-releases. These next two I got from Pop Market. They sometimes have sales on vinyl soundtracks and uh, they, they, they were being uh, sold off, liquidated, I guess. And I got them for fairly cheap prices. First one being Rudy, music composed by Jerry Goldsmith. 
uh, starring Sean Astin, uh, 1993 underdog football movie, you know, you know how it is. And uh, would I have bought it in any other circumstances? No, but since it's a uh, Varaz Saraban and Jerry Goldsmith, I decided to, uh, you know, buy it and uh, I don't regret it. Uh, I believe this came in a color variant. We have a, a picture of a sleeve here, the maestro. And uh, get the pictures here. Jerry Goldsmith hard at work. Jerry Goldsmith posing right here. And the color is a beautiful green right here. There you go. Up next, big fan of Bill Murray, as you may well know. And this is early Bill Murray with stripes right here. Music composed and conducted by Elmer Bernstein. We do have a color variant with this one as well. And it is some kind of swirly popsicle looking thing. <laughs> But uh, it's it's very really nice. It looks good. So yeah, there it is. It's the insert right here. And that's it for stripes. And lastly, for the newer re-releases, I got uh, this single release of. The Matrix classic sci-fi soundtrack by Don Davis. Uh, this came out in 2016. Uh, I got a really good deal on this, like maybe, I think I paid 15 bucks on it. I wasn't too keen on paying like 80 to 90 bucks on the release last year on Record Store Day. This is quite enough for me. I'm very satisfied with this release. They also did uh, a color variant with this one. It's like uh, red and blue. Looks nice. It's okay. And uh, that is it for the Matrix and the new re-releases. Up next will be the blind buys. First one being for the 1969 Western directed by Sam Peckinpah, The Wild Bunch right here. Uh, movie came out in 1969, but uh, Varez released this soundtrack in 1980. Music is by Jerry Fielding. Then I got True Confession, a 1981 movie with score by George Delarue, uh, starring uh, Robert De Niro and Robert Duvall. Then I got Crimes of the Heart. Now, would I ever <laughs> watch this movie or buy this soundtrack if not for Vera Saraband? Uh, no. <laughs> but music is composed by George Delarue again. And uh, this came out in 1986. Then I got 1984 canon film Bolero, starring a naked uh, Bo Derek, directed by her husband. John Derek, um, obviously uh, I would get this because it is canon and uh, Bolero I've actually seen in my tender youth, oh, so long ago. I think I have to, to blur something uh, right now because uh, yeah, I don't think YouTube was gonna like this very much. The next two are, uh, I want to say, double features. Uh, two soundtracks, two scores featured on one vinyl, and uh, they 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 did had they did release a few of those back in the day, and uh, I got two of them. First one being Golden Earrings and Blood and Sand. 
Victor Young and Vincent Gomez are two of the composers for those movies. The other double score I got is music composed and conducted by Bill Conti, and it is for The Right Stuff and North and South. And uh, recently, Fred Ward sadly passed away. Uh, great, great man, great actor, Remo Williams, if you've ever seen that movie. Oh, and of course, Tremors, classic, classic movie. This was released in 1986. One release was not enough for this uh, movie, so they had to release two volumes, and it is for Lionheart, starring Eric Stoltz, of course, composed by Jerry Goldsmith. Here's volume two. And lastly, for the blind buys, uh, for a horror movie uh, titled Flowers in the Attic, music composed by Christopher Young. I still haven't seen this movie yet, but uh, really interested to. It has a pretty good cast. And that's it for the blind buys. Next are the random titles, the ones I didn't know which category to put them in. So I said, what the hell, I'm just gonna make this tiny little pile. Uh, the first one being for the Osterman Weekend, music by Lalo Schifrin. Uh, imprint, uh, the imprint Blu-ray label in Australia just released it on Blu-ray. This is a, a great cast, Rodger Howard, John Hurt, uh, Dennis Hopper, Burt Lancaster. This was Sam Peckinpah's last movie. Up next is a Tangerine Dream score from 1983, and it is for the movie Wavelength. Up next is an 80s hostage movie. Uh, I have to go back into the jungle to get your man movie and uh, it was never released on Blu-ray or DVD, and it is for Let's Get Harry. Music composed by Brad Fidel, he of Terminator fame. We got uh, Mark Harmon in this, Gary Busey, uh, Robert Duvall, and it's directed by the famous director Alan Smithy. We all know Alan Smithy, of course. This means quality picture right here. I got another score for a 80s action movie and it's for Death Before Dishonor. The music is composed by the famous Queen guitarist Brian May. Of course I'm kidding and it's not two different, completely different people, but uh, you know. Starring ex-football player Fred Dwyer, uh, best known for this uh, TV series called Hunter back in the 80s. Then I got a score for an 80s Charlie Sheen vehicle, 1987's No Man's Land. Music score by Basil Paul Duris. It also starred D.B. Sweeney and uh, it's written by Dick Wolf. He, the creator of, of like 20 Law & Orders uh, series. I think this was, was uh, one of his first uh, screenplays. And the last random title in the pile is for Criminal Law, starring Gary Oldman and uh, Kevin Bacon, a Jerry Goldsmith score written in big bold letters, as you can see. Uh, this came out in 1988. 
And that is it for my random titles. As you may well know, uh, sometimes in the 80s, Veres Herman would license titles to uh, other record labels. In the UK, it was for uh, Tur Records. Uh, that's Entertainment Record, I believe. And then here in Canada, uh, they were released through Jackal Records. And uh, I still get some of them once in a while, and uh, I do buy them. Uh, first one being for Agnes of God, music composed and conducted by George De La Rue. And uh, this was like, obviously a total blind buy, and I was pleasantly surprised how good this soundtrack is, the score is. And the other Jackal Records uh, release uh, I purchased was for Peggy Sue Got Married. Side A is uh, John Barry Cues and uh, Side B Various Artistes. This came out in 1986. And that is it for Jackal Records releases. And finally, saving the best for last. Uh, very comparable to the first uh, category with my favorite releases bought in the last year are the European only releases, which uh, there's been, there were quite a few between, uh, I believe, uh, end of 1990 up to like 91, 92. Uh, they were only released in Europe. So basically in Brazil, Germany, uh, well, Brazil, South America. And uh, I, I covet all of them. I, had a, I showed a few uh, in the first video and now I'm gonna show you four more. Uh, first one being for Total Recall, Jerry Goldsmith. Uh, I would say probably one of my favorite from Jerry Goldsmith. One of the all-timer sci-fi score, I do believe. Uh, I, even though I purchased the uh, 30th anniversary special edition right here from Quartet Record and even the uh, Varel Saraband uh, score is one of the discs in the package. Uh, I really wanted this one as well. Up next, I would have to say this is probably my favorite Varese Saraband release I own. I've loved this score since I've first seen the movie in theaters back in July of 1990. And it is for Die Hard 2, Die Harder. Uh, the music is composed by Michael Kamen. Uh, in the last, or I would say the, the first collection update, I showed you the cassette. And then uh, in between showing you the cassette, and now I got this beautiful vinyl. This is classic uh, late 80s, early 90s action movie score. Uh, one of the tracks I, I really enjoy is the uh, end tracks, Philindia, which is not even scored by uh, Michael came in, but it is the uh, national anthem for Finland and director Rennie Harlan's home country. What kind of Varese Saraband vinyl soundtrack collector I would be if I did not have in the collection Terminator 2 Judgment Day, uh, music composed by Brad Fidel. Obviously another classic in the sci-fi uh, genre when it comes to the score. There's been so many other versions of this score be have been released over the years. Uh, I just wanted the OG in my collection. Uh, the only downside is uh, it's a bit warped, so uh, I'll have to find another copy, but for now I'm just glad to have this in the collection. And the last score purchase for this collection update and it's for James Cameron, The Abyss, uh, music composed by Alan Silvestri. Uh, this is a, a pretty rare find and I'm really happy I got to, to get it thanks to Neil from Retro Reels and uh, I believe from through a member on the Facebook group uh, Varys Sarban Vinyl Collector. 
Uh, I'm, it's, it's so good. It's such a, a great, great score. We may potentially re really soon be getting the uh, 4K Blu-ray, whatever you wanted, of The Abyss, which has been stuck in DVD hell for uh, years and years and years. This is a very underrated score from uh, Alan Silvestri, probably one of my favorite uh, all-time composers. Obviously, all thanks to uh, Back to the Future and many, many, many others. But uh, yeah, The Abyss. And that, my fellow vinyl soundtrack lovers, is it for my Varese Saraband Vinyl Soundtracks 2022 Collection Overview Update. Go visit all my socials at Grand House Funhouse. In the comment section below, let me know what was your favorite Varese Saraband Vinyl Soundtrack purchase in the last year. I would love to know. More vinyl soundtrack related videos coming up soon, so stay tuned. Thank you for watching, and I'll say to you, ciao bye for now.